So the story of our new power base began with a request from our international team to update and enhance our current uh, rear wheel drive product called the Rival. This came out of the need for overall just a better rear wheel drive product. We put a lot of time and energy and resources and creativity into creating our mid wheel drive platforms, our front wheel drive platforms, but now it's time to apply those same sort of advancements to our rear wheel drive technology. And at the end of the day, that's really what sparked the innovation behind the R-Track. Rear wheel drive units typically have higher max speeds. They track better, especially climbing up hills. They have increased stability, and that usually lends it to be a much more suitable chair for a more rugged environment outdoors. People who use rear wheel drive power wheelchairs typically stay with rear wheel drive power wheelchairs, and we think the R Track is going to be a great option for them. Many rear wheel drive chairs are good, but just leave a lot to be desired. Suspensions tend to be very stable, but also rigid, and that's uncomfortable for the individual. Additionally, depending on where the individual is located on the chair, front to back, can make the chair very difficult to drive. But we had new technologies and new methods of manufacturing that we wanted to try to use those to attack these issues and make a better ride for the individual. First and foremost, we wanted to make a more comfortable ride that was still stable. And we were able to do this with an independent suspension, which means every caster wheel and every drive wheel has its own spring. We also set them up in a diamond-shaped geometry, which gave excellent stability and comfort. Oftentimes, the interaction between the casters and the foot platforms push the user forward onto the chair. This creates an awkward feel and also makes it difficult to maneuver. By moving the caster wheels outward and reducing their volume of rotation, we were able to move the individual more aft onto the chair. Then we designed enough seat adjustment that each individual will be able to experience the same centeredness on the power base. This results in a comfortable and natural ride that is unique to the R-Track. We wanted the R-Track to be available across the globe, so we had to conform to multiple international specifications that are out there. With the R-Track, we were able to do that, and it's available in most markets. So the R-Track was a really big deal for the industrial design department because it gave us a chance to do a complete refresh of the quantum design language. And not only that, we also had a chance to refine a lot of the functional elements that we include on devices. Things like lighting, battery door access, and wire routing. Quantum units have always had lighting to some degree, but with the recent advancements in LED technology, we've really been able to leverage that use and push that kind of lighting technology to the next level. We've been able to shrink down a lot of the LED technology and create not only a really fantastic marker light, but also blend that seamlessly into the aesthetics of the unit, making it very cohesive in the end. So from the design perspective, we really wanted the R truck to have a much more aesthetically neutral presence. We really wanted it to relate to a wide audience while still having this very contemporary and modern feel. So one of the biggest goals for design department is to really bring this visual and physical humanity to an otherwise very mechanical device. We really want our products in the end to really highlight the individual, not the device itself. We subjected the R-Track to a rigorous set of tests and checks and balances so we meet or exceed medical device standards. We test the product hard here at our facilities to make sure that the product is there for the end user and help support them no matter where they take the chair. From the beginning of the production process, we focus on configuring each individual system per the individual's needs. These vary in categories from the user's clinical requirements, such as the seating system or drive system, to the environmental requirements that the individual needs, which dictates the motor selection or the drive tires that are used, to the components that really personalize the system to what the individual wants, such as colors, lighting, or accessories. Our company's focus is always on the user and their experience using the product. So we invest a lot of time and resources into verifying that when the product leaves the facility, it's functioning as intended and it will continue to do so throughout the life of the product. It really takes a lot of people, a lot of time, a lot of patience to bring something like this from an idea to a design to a sketch to a usable product. Looking back at all the iterations of our track, it's really been a steady evolution. All the team's input really helped mold the product to what it is today.